how would I tame two parrotlets <laughs> at the same time if they were rescues and maybe less than a year old, but not tame. Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrotless Bond. Please be sure to get your copy on Amazon.com so that you have your handbook for everything you need to provide a quality life for your parrot with all the right foods, that kind of thing, so that you have quantities of bliss when you're taming your parrot. What are the two secrets to taming a parrot? This beautiful, beautiful girl, I'm just in love with her colors, isn't she stunning? Um, she is uh, stunning, and so is this one. <laughs> I love my parrots. Um, they are both, mm, well, Hope's a little more tame, but I have large parrots, so it's very hard for me to let my small parrots out because I don't want the size difference to mean that my small parrots get eaten, bitten, or anything like that. So I'm always very careful, and so I don't get to spend a lot of time with my little guys. Um, but when we're talking about taming a parrot, what we're really talking about is working to shift our perception that the parrot, or sorry, working to shift the parrot's perception that we aren't good or fun, that kind of thing. They are scared of us and we need to shift that. Now, shifting the perception of a big parrot to think that a little parrot is its friend and it shouldn't bite it, that's a little harder to do. It can be done, but you know, that's already definitions that are defined in the parrots. The small parrots will avoid the large parrots. If they're raised together and things like that, that can change that. But generally speaking, um, something like getting these guys to decide we're not scary is more easily done just because there are things we can do like utilize our two secrets. Secret number one is time. You want to spend a lot of time with your parrots. Um, I had someone say, oh, and stay tuned. At the end, I'll say what you should do if you're afraid you won't be able to get your bird back in the cage. I had someone say that she spent two weeks with a rescue Amazon and she went nowhere. She took two weeks off work and she was just with her rescue Amazon the whole time and she was able to make some strong movement on getting it tame. No doubt when you are just spending time with your parrots, which is one of the things that I love doing, and that's certainly a way that I work on taming my parrots, then what happens is they, they just, with time and by just rinsing my finger there, because somebody left a dropping, um, as you spend time with them, what happens is they just start to figure out that, eh, maybe you're not so bad, you know, um, maybe, hanging out with you could be kind of fun. You're certainly interesting. Humans seem to be very interesting to parrots. That's definitely a conclusion that I've come to because I kind of observed that over and over. But you give them the time, like I'm giving them right now, but I mean like as much time as you can, hours and hours, and they just start to go, oh, hey, this isn't so bad. Then the second secret is make sure that if you have a nut eating parrot, you don't put any of the nuts in their cage. You just their pellets and their fresh veggies. If you have a smaller parrot like these guys, make sure that you don't put any sunflower seeds in their cage or any special treats. So basically withhold treats so that you can be the one giving the treats. If I was now um, spending you know, three hours in a room with these guys and I had food next to me. First I would put it next to me so that they're comfortable and they can just come closer and closer and closer. Then they start to find that there's cool stuff around you that's gonna shift their perception of you. They're gonna go from, you know, this person's scary and you know, that kind of thing to, hey, there's always food, special food, special treats around this person. Um, and eventually they're going to also just kind of feel like not only are you not scary, but actually you are kind of interesting. You do do things that are kind of fun and interesting and there's always special treats around you. So don't forget the biggest secret though, I would say is time. You just 
I have to really give them plenty of time and really hang out with them. Uh, initially, I think that it's hanging out like this. You're not trying to get them to step up. You're not trying to get them to do anything. No fancy trick, no nothing that you have seen or, or you know, that you're aiming for. Initially, you're just really letting them be. You're letting them perceive that they can be and they can be happy and they can be a little more free out of their cage around you. Now, if you're scared of being able to put them back in their cage like you're worried about either having to chase them, which makes sense. You don't really want to chase them because that's going to reshift their perception. They're going to be like, all oh, that, that nasty person's chasing me. Um, so if you don't, if you're worried about that, I would say the most important thing to do is find a small room, a bathroom. That's why I do some videos in my bathroom because there's no other birds. So it's a safe room and I can bring my little guys in here. So take them into a bathroom or Maybe you have a nice big closet that has a light kind of thing, but a space that you can comfortably, comfortably be in um, because it's true. You don't want to have to chase them. Now, if you're able, uh, you're probably not going to want to spend three, four or five hours in your bathroom or your closet. Then in that case, um, you know, you might have to do that initially or figure out what you have to do initially, but then I would start to make sure that they know where their food is. Also put treats maybe by their cage when you want them to go back in their cage because eventually they'll go in their cage for the food and then you can close the door as much as you can do that um, and kind of lure them in so that you're not chasing. That's really good and important. Okay, there's one other thing. What was my one other thing? I hope. You're such a pretty little thing. What was my one other thing? Let's see. Oh, and you know, um, if I had two parrotlets that weren't tame, would I do one at a time or would I do them both at the same time? You know what, I would do them both at the same time because I would want them to kind of see the other one coming for a treat, that kind of thing, and getting more comfortable. Plus, um, spending, you know, even two hours with one and then two hours with the other, that can get hard. So I would definitely, at least try and you you know what happens is every parrot and every set of parrots is different and so every circumstance is going to be different it just depends on so many things and um so you you really want to experiment and see what works for you but me i would initially try just doing them both at the same time of course one of the other huge benefits to doing them at the same time is that if one figures out that it's not so bad hanging out with me then the other is more likely to come and join them. They do talk to each other and they'll tell each other, hey, it's not so bad over here or whatever it is. Or if, if one is happy and comfortable and enjoying your company, feels comfortable with you, um, you know, then they're more likely to hang out with you. And then the second one's more likely to see that and start to go, oh, maybe that human's not so bad. So I hope that helps. If you have more questions on taming, your two unparrot, untamed parrotlets, or taming your parrot in general, please, please be sure to comment below or on uh, parrotbliss.com or on the Facebook Instagram Messenger, and I will catch you on the next feathered video. I think she's gonna take a nap.